Denny Hodge with ProMMAnow.com here with UFC veteran John Salter as he prepares for his Strike Force debut next week at Strike Force Challenges 13. How you doing, John? Good. How are you? Great. Uh, we're a week away from the fight. Uh, you had a last-minute opponent change again. It's the same thing that happened to you in your last <laughs> UFC fight. Uh, how do you how do you continue to prepare for these changes, or is it just part of the game at this point? I've gotten pretty used to it now. I think this is three fights in a row that's happened. So. Um, you know, it's so hard to get to the training camp healthy, so you gotta always expect things like this. And so how's how training go this time around? I know you got some uh, training, new training partners, well, in town this week from Knoxville, uh, Ovince St. Pru, and Strike Force veteran as well. So how's training went? Uh, it's, it's going real well. We've, uh, we've got a good uh, seven-week training camp. We hit it real hard and uh, getting ready to slow up and taper a little bit, but it's been a great training camp. So what are your thoughts on the Strike Force debut? Is that something, uh, depending on how everything goes, you, you plan on making Strike Force your home? or? How? I'll just have to see. I don't have any plans right now. I'm just, uh, I want to stay busy, keep fighting as much as possible, you know, uh, build up my record and uh, sign with a big organization. I'm real, real right, so picky right now. Yes, sir. So you're fighting Casey Huffman. He's 2-0. and How much do you know about your opponent in the last minute changes? Uh, I've watched some video on him. I'll definitely watch that video more. Um, looked him up a little bit. I mean, he looks like an athletic guy, tough. Um, and he doesn't really make any big mistakes. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a good fight. I expect him to go out there and, uh, you know, grind it out with me and uh, have a tough, good, good, tough fight. Should be good for the fans. All right, so like you mentioned before, I've interviewed you before, and uh, you said you work on everything. What do you think has became the most the most improved part of your game to, at this point in your career? Um, my stand-up's come a long way, you know, um, but, you know, I'm working on my ground every day, trying to get better at that, trying to get better at my wrestling. So uh, I like to think everything's coming along together. Uh, you know, uh, the great thing about it is, that, you know, I can pick if I'm standing or on the ground, you know, most of the time with the wrestling background. I uh, just want to thank God for the ability to do what I do. Uh, thank Ed Clay and everybody here at National MMA who's helped me get ready for this fight. And uh, my family for supporting